if we want to face this part we can use the facing within tensor here so we first select our part so it's a closed profile and then we move to facing and we just follow the dialog which is being presented to us now okay would you like to load a new tool yes we would like a bigger tool to face this part and we will if we select on diameter we see a flat end of 24 mil and we can select this and click on OK our reference points reference point is G54 we'll start from 0 and we'll have an angle of 0 degrees so we can alter this into an angle of 45 if we wish to but in this case we'll just leave it to 0 and the strategy will be zigzag in this case and the depth will be 2 millimeters and step depth of 2 and we can enter a last step of 0 0.0 which will give you a better surface quality and we will extend the tool path with 2 millimeters so always look at the picture in the dialog box this will always explain what parameter stands for okay the overlap 80 percent that's let's change that into 70 okay approach height and safe position and retract height 10 mil okay yes we will convert this into a tool path we don't need any copies and there's our ANSI program so if you want to simulate this just click on the eye move to the tensor simulator click on the eye and we can change the speed of simulation so we have a better look at this part so you can see in two steps the part is being faced so this is quite easy in tensor and it doesn't make uh, a difference what kind of profile it is either if this is a rectangle or just a different contour so let's move on to the next video